Good morning, everyone. Welcome to chapel. Today is a great day because we are here to praise the Lord, to hear God's word, and we have a very special guest who is going to be sharing a message with us. More on that later. We are going to begin with a song that reminds us of all the different things we can do when we worship God. Will you please stay seated? When we of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, the sky and all that is in them. He created Adam and Eve to care for them. Mankind fell into sin and stopped serving others. God made a promise to forgive their sins and renew them through his Son. As a new creation, we are now free to love one another, just as Christ has loved us, laying down his life for us. But we continue to fall short of God's glory and fail to serve others. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing, it is a gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. Created in Christ Jesus. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe.
At this time, our very special speaker is going to come forward. His name is Mr. Bruce. Everybody say, hello, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. He is from Camp Luther. You are going to give him excellent listening ears and all of your attention. Best introduction ever, thanks. I, I feel like I have to say fish are friends, not food. Do you guys know that, that quote? Yeah, all right. All right, I thought I was trying to be fun. I got a couple of thumbs up, great. Well, I'm excited to be here with you guys this morning to talk a little bit about God's word and a little bit about Camp Luther. Raise your hand if you've ever been to Camp Luther, real quick. Awesome, there's lots of you, great. I've been there too, uh, and it's a great place, and hopefully we'll see more of you there. But we're gonna start this morning off talking about our theme at Camp Luther this summer, which is rooted, that we are rooted in Christ. And I wanna read from you from, uh, from Ephesians chapter three, starting at verse uh, 16. That according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with the power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, length, height, and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God." So rooted in love. Do you guys know who, what is love? Who is love? You can shout it out. Who's love? Jesus is love, right? That's what we hear in John. We compare Jesus' love. And uh, let's see, what are some things, I want to have you raise your hands. So what are some things in there we talk about being rooted in love? So rooted in Jesus, connected to Jesus. But let's talk about plants first. What are some things that roots do for trees or plants? They help them get food. And how do they help them to get food? Anyone right over here? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Okay, they, they, they absorb water through the roots. How about on this side? Anyone over here want to help me with some roots? Yeah, the back. What else do roots do? They get the water. Yep, they bring the water. That's really good. Yeah, over here. They, okay, so the leaves bring the sunlight. They're kind of underground. It's kind of hard for them to get sunlight, but that's important for trees to grow. Yeah. They keep the tree in the ground, right? They keep it from moving or being knocked over or blown over, especially the last couple of months in Nebraska. I'm glad our trees have roots because we've had a lot of wind, haven't we? And I, one other thing they also do is they grab that nutrients out of the soil, right? So they provide things. So let's think about roots a little bit. But before we do that, I need some helpers some volunteers, and you're gonna have to be willing to wear a blindfold. I brought some blindfolds here. Oh, wow, lots of hands for volunteers. Um, oh, man, this school's so much bigger than most of the schools I go to. All right, let's see, the green sweatshirt over there. I'm gonna try to pick some from the back. Uh, let's see, the blue sweatshirt, yep, right there. All right, uh, let's see. Wow, everyone's like shaking their hands, they're all excited. Yeah, very end, right there. Yep, the young lady, nope, the, the young lady next to you, sorry. All right, and then let's find out. I need three, all right, I need, all right, all right ladies, I have two up here, so I'll have all the girls put your hands down. I'm gonna try to pick, pick another young man here to come up, someone I haven't called on yet. Um, wow, yeah, come on up, right here. Young guy right here, blonde hair, yeah, in the Nike shirt. Yep, yep, come on up. Come on up. All right. So what I'm going to do is you guys are going to do some, some special things for me. All right. And I'm going to put a blindfold on. Uh, have any of you boys ever played football? You play football? Okay. You're going to be my football guy. So could you just slide that on for me over, the, over your glasses? Let's see. Do you know what a flamingo is? Do you know how flamingo stands? No. Just like one leg like that. Can you do that for me? All right. Great. Oops, this one isn't tied, so let me tie this one on you. All right. Can you see? How many fingers do I have up? You don't know. Good, good. All right, just checking. All right. Let's see. Um, what can I have you do? I Oh, have you ever used crutches before? Yep. Could you be my pretend hurt ankle guy? Like you, you got hurt. All right. I'm gonna put this on you. And let me grab my crutch here. Hopefully it's the right size. 
Oh, it's as, almost as tall as you. Uh, probably not a good idea. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to give you a blindfold in just a second. Okay. So I'm going to move you over here. What's your name? Parker. All right, Parker, come on over here a little bit. And Parker, I want you to stand like a flamingo. Okay. Oop, that leg nice and high. Nice and high. Oh, you fell over. Oh, you're falling over. Why, why are you falling over? You should, you got to stay on one foot. What, what's, what's, okay. You're all right. All right, Parker, you can go ahead and go back to your, your seat. Thank you for helping. All right. Let's see. All right. How about you come right into the middle and show me your best three-point football stance, like you're an offensive lineman. No, no, like you're, you're down on your three-point stance with one hand on the ground. There you go. And about to say, all right, when I say hike, you got to block the guy. Oh, 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 oh you okay? You're falling over. Three-point stance. You got to stay in your stance. You can't fall. Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh, what's wrong? Okay. All right. What's your name? Bryson. Bryson, thanks for helping, bud. All right, you can go back. All right. All right. What's your name, bud? What's your name? Kaiser. Kaiser? All right. How about you come on forward and pretend like you're walking on the crutches? Have you, you okay? Start walking down the aisle for me with the crutches. Oh, oh, don't fall over. You okay? You almost fell over. You okay? Let's try walking again. Can you try walking for me again? Okay, keep walking. You're fine. There's nothing in front of you. Oh, oh. You keep falling over. Are you okay? I didn't stop. All right, all right. Let's have you go ahead and have a seat. Thanks for your help. That was kind of hard, right? You blindfolded, and I'm and I was pushing them, wasn't I? Just a reminder: you're not allowed to push. All right. This was only for demonstration purposes. When you go back to your classrooms, no pushing. All right. She's like really nervous now. What's your name? Presley? All right, Presley, come on right up here in the middle. And I've got this yellow bandana for you. All right. Presley, how many fingers do I have up? Six. Zero, just my thumb. I guess that would be one. All right, now I need help from the crowd. All right, because I'm going to ask you questions, though. But you have to be able to answer the question. All right, what are some things? We think about being rooted in Christ. What are things that help keep us rooted in Jesus, that help us keep us connected in Jesus? Praying. So come on up. So after, if you answer my question, you get to come on up and, and just kind of stand over here for a second. All right. Yes. Read the Bible. So come on up. All right. Over here. Yep. With the glasses on. Yep. Help others. Yeah, come on up. That's a great one. Let's see. I want to come a little farther back so it don't feel like, yes. What's that? Yep. Would you, you, you can praise Jesus. Yep, come on forward. All right, let's see. Yes. You can go to church. Awesome. Maybe on this side. Yes. You can have faith. Yep, you can be in your faith. What are some things that maybe we do at church that strengthen us in our faith? And like... One of them is visible back here, even. All right. Yes. You can talk about God and share God with others. All right. Yes. You can be baptized, okay? Yeah. You can sing. You can sing to God. All right, I'm going to do one more. Wow, man, everyone's really excited. I don't. All right, there. Uh, yep. With the glasses. Yep. Yep, yep. Read the Gospels. Yep, come on forward. And there's also, like, communion we could do. There's lots of things we could do. Now, all right, I need all of you to come around, come over here, and I want you to gently kind of put your hands on her back, all around, okay? All right, so now your job, my goal is to push her over, <laughs> push her to the ground, and you guys have to protect, protect your friend here, all right? All right, are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Oh, oh, man, you guys are good. Man, this is like the best school ever. Last school, they almost let the person fall on purpose. All right. Man, you guys. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, hey, everyone, give them a big round of applause. All right.
Go ahead and sit back down. Thank you for your help. Being rooted in Christ isn't just one thing. If we just had one thing, even like when we had the crutch up here, I'm still able to push him over, okay? Or if we just are on one leg, we can't really be rooted in Christ. We need lots of things. If you look at a tree, if you ever see a tree or a plant's roots, or if you ever pull a plant out and you look and all those roots are going all over the places, they, a, a plant needs lots and lots of roots so it doesn't topple over, and so it stays fed, and so it stays strong. So as we think about being in church, and we think about our faith, and we think about walking with Jesus, we need to think about those things that, that help keep us strong. And we need lots of things. It can't just be one thing. It can't be, well, maybe I'll go to church on Sunday. Maybe I really don't need it, you know. But then you get rid of that, then, well, maybe I don't have to read my Bible, or, you know, Maybe I don't have to sing Christian music or listen to it, or maybe I don't, but all of a sudden you start taking those things away, and it's really easy for the devil to just to push you down. The devil can just come in and just push you over. He can just knock you down, but when you have things like good Christian friends that can encourage and support you, when you come to Lutheran schools and learn about Jesus as you're, as you're learning and growing about the world, when you are active in church and youth group and you come to Sunday school and you read the Bible at home and you pray. You know, one of our, one of the most popular activities at camp, we did a survey a couple years ago to ask, you know, what's your, what, we wanted to find out what the kids' favorite thing to do at camp was. And I was really surprised. The number one answer was what we call TOG time. And at camp, TOG time stands for time alone with God. And we kind of go out, you could go out and, you know, depending on the weather, you could go out, sometimes they sit in trees, they go out to a field, uh, sometimes they do it in their cabins. And we do 30 minutes where we can read the Bible, you can journal, you can pray. But you get that private time alone with God. And that's something that's really important, too, is taking your own personal time and listening to God. Because God tells us to be still and know that he is God. And we are so blessed by that. So I want to encourage you, as you go out through your lives, to stay rooted in Jesus. And to have those things in your life that make your roots strong. Be in church. Come to Lutheran schools. Come to camp in the summer when you're not in school. That's a great place to continue to grow in your faith. Have good, strong Christian friends. Read your Bible and take that time alone with God. You know, and just continually to seek and to learn more about what God is doing for you. But there's others. Someone said this too. Serving others. That's another really important route that God has given us. We have a God that just doesn't provide us his word, his love, his sacraments. But he also sends us out. He sends us to serve others, to love our neighbor, to tell other people about him so they can also have their roots grow and they can be set in Jesus. And you know, we're going to mess up sometimes. We do. We make mistakes. But you know, God works through those. I don't know if I've told this, this school this story, so if I told you before, I'm sorry. But it's one of my favorite mess up stories because God even works through our mistakes I used to be a missionary, and I lived in a country called, well, I lived in two Spanish-speaking countries. I lived in Panama, and I lived in Peru. And when I was in Panama, I was actually spent most of my time at language school. And I was in Panama City, and I, took a, I was taking a taxi to school, and the traffic was horrible. And I was about 10 minutes late for school. Two lessons to learn from this. I'm going to tell you about my mistake, but also don't be late for school. Because when you're late for school, you always miss something. So I get into the classroom. I sit down. And the teacher's talking, and the teacher looks at me, and she says, Señor Bruce, oración, por, por, por ejemplo, por favor. Sorry, I haven't spoke Spanish in a while. Uh, and she said, so I'm like, okay, I've been learning Spanish for about a month. I'm like, oración. Oh, what does that word mean again? I'm like, oh, that's in the bulletin at church. That means prayer. Well, the teacher knows I'm a missionary. And so I'm like, oh, I guess the teacher wants me to pray. So I, I kind of bow my head and I'm like, Dios, gracias por este día, gracias por tu amor. And I'm speaking and I'm praying in Spanish. And all of a sudden, I hear her laughing hysterically and she's on the floor. She fell off her chair because she was laughing so hard. So I quickly say, Amen. And then she finally composes herself and she's like, Ah, yes, you're a, you're a missionary, Bruce. Oración also means sentence. I wanted you to give me a sentence using the verb I was pointing at on the wall. But here I am praying for her in class. So, you know, I'm totally embarrassed. There's all these other people 
all these other adults from all over the world actually learning Spanish in the room. So we take our break, and I'm in the break room, and you know when you're really embarrassed, you kind of find that table at the back corner, and you sit with your back to everyone, and I'm sitting with my back to that whole group, really embarrassed, and all of a sudden, someone comes over and taps me on the shoulder, and it was my teacher. She goes, Bruce, no one's really ever taught me the Bible before. Do you think two or three days a week you could teach me the Bible during break time? How cool is that? I'm embarrassed sitting in the back thinking, man, I failed. I'm embarrassed. I got to go back into class. And God totally used that. And for the next two months while I was in Bible class, about two days a week during break time, her and I would, would dive into God's word. And I was able to share the gospel with her for two to three weeks because I accidentally prayed in class when I was really supposed to give a set, just be giving an example sentence with a verb. How cool is that? Is that pretty awesome? So no matter what mistakes you guys make in life, as long as you are rooted in Christ, as long as you stay strong to your faith, God will work and use those. He will forgive you, he will lead, he will guide you, and he will care for you, and he will provide you. And you know what? You never know what great and mighty things he may do through each and every one of you. Will you pray with me? Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for helping me be rooted in you. Help me to read your word, to pray, have great Christian friends, and be active in my faith. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. At this time, we are going to collect our offering. Would somebody please remind us where our offerings are going this month? In a nice, loud voice, Wyatt. Say it. Okay, loud voice. Camp Luther, that is correct. Our offering money is going to Camp Luther. That is where Mr. Bruce works. So we are glad to give our offerings at that point we will sing as the offering is being collected take my life Jesus, for you were called to freedom. But through love, take my will and make it thine. It shall be no law. Have this mind amongst yourself, which is yours in Christ Jesus. But emptied himself by talk, talking the form of a servant.
created in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father. Please join me in Luther's morning prayer. I thank May God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit direct our days in his peace. Please stand up. Joy. Help me thank Camp Luther's Bruce Wall for joining us and leading us today. S.T. Thank you. Uh, also, thank you, Jaden, for leading us again in chapel and our praise team and Mr. Whitney for the music and our projection and sound people in the back. S.T. You guys are good at that today. You guys are awake. That's great. Um, just two students caught being shown how they're created to serve in this last week, Blakely Alday, for sleeping up, sleeping, who, for sleeping? That'd be a great servant. Uh, for sweeping up the sidewalk. Blakely will be here in just a little bit, won't she? You guys will have to sneak up behind her and pat her on the back and tell her good job. And I need to check on one other thing quick. Xander Larson for being a good leader. Xander, you can just stand up right there if you want, unless you want to come up here. And help me thank Xander. S.T. 
had a kid, and I'm waiting on confirmation because we still have a fundraiser going on. Fundraiser, what's the fundraiser we have going on right now? Daisy? Plant sale. And where's the plant sale funds going to? Do we know? Do you know Nixon? Yes, Building Foundations of Faith, the four classrooms we have out back, and then new playground equipment in the back playground. Still waiting on confirmation. So first week we had Isaiah. Second week we had Allie and Jay. Third week we had... Kaylee, and I might have to call Mrs. Heller and put her on like speakerphone over the microphone here because I'm not getting anything back. So our winners will have to get something from the concession stand, and she might be taking a nap or eating cake or doing any of those things that Mrs. Heller does. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to guess. That sound like fun? I know that one family turned in a thousand dollars at the end of last, nope, end of last, beginning of this week? End of last week, because this would be for last week. And so even if that family didn't win, I'm going to say they won so they can get something out of the concession stand. And if somebody sold more than that, we'll have them get something too. Because if they sold a thousand bucks, I think they probably deserve it. Uh, can I have. Ashlyn and Riker and Harley stand up. And they sold over a thousand bucks worth of plant sale cards so they can find Mrs. Heller and get something out of the concession stand. Help me thank the Wolken family for doing an awesome job. ST! And I think that's all the announcements I have. I drug that out long enough. Can we have our acolytes and ushers? Please come up. Thank you.